What is going on guys? This is Mike with Chit Chat Gaming and as most of you probably know by now, one of my goals is to basically get all my retro consoles eventually over to my HDMI television on a more modern TV of course. I do still own a CRT television, I still utilize that, so it's not that I don't want to use that. It's just that the goal is to eventually get everything over to HDMI, and I've already started with things like the Analog Super NT, which allows me to play my Super Nintendo games on HDMI with FPGA hardware. Um, I do have the GCHD by Eon for a Nintendo GameCube as well too. And of course, I've been trying to, as I've done videos before in the past here, I've been trying to get my Sega Dreamcast um, over to HDMI, so there's things like pound cables as well too, you know, VGA, VGA adapters and such, all kinds of things you can use. And of course, there's great things like the RetroTink 2X, um, the HD RetroVision cables, our composite cables and such. You have OSSC hardware, our hardware as well too, as well as some frame meisters that you can use to get like things like my, like my Sega Genesis Model 2 here to look better on a modern television as well too. So there is several ways around that as well too. And of course, one of the big things is we do indeed have Analog's brand new FPGA hardware coming out in the spring of 2019. I'm talking about the Mega SG, which I do have pre-ordered, but here's the thing, that's then and this is now. So I went ahead and I did find something that fell underneath my radar as well too. I really didn't hear a whole lot about it here. And it's from a company that a lot of people are familiar with and it's Hyperkin. Um, they definitely make things like the Retron as well too. Um, they have a Super Retron uh, um, for the play Super Nintendo games. And there's so many different consoles that I do have and accessories as well too. And they have just released here the Mega Retron, which is their answer here to a Sega Genesis and a Mega Drive um, clone console as well too here. I think it looks pretty cool here. Like I said, I didn't really hear a whole lot about this until more recently. And I saw this and I was like, you know what, man? I want to go ahead and try this out. I know there's things out there like the Gamertech um, Mini Gen as well too that I've seen. There's a couple other consoles. Of course, we have the horrible at games consoles. So we have all that available too. But I wanted to give Hyperkin a chance here. I've heard a lot of great things and some negative things about Hyperkin. But I definitely want to give it a chance here. I thought the console looked really cool. And the idea of being able to play this in 720 is actually pretty neat too. So it's, this is going to allow me to play my HDR, my Sega Genesis games or Mega Drive on a more modern day television here in 720 as well too with HDMI. So what I want to do here today guys is go ahead and unbox this for you so you can see what is on the side here. Once again, this is the Megatron, uh, the Mega Retron. It sounds like a freaking like a... Uh, Transformer or something or Power Ranger, but the Mega Retron HD. I want to go ahead and pull this out here, let you guys see what's inside here, and more importantly, we're going to do some game testing as well, too, because I do got a few games I want to try out with it as well here. So we are going to go ahead and take a look at Mortal Kombat 2, Sega Genesis, of course. We're going to take a look at Aladdin, another great game here, and one of my favorite games on the Sega um, Genesis, which is Sonic the Hedgehog 3. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at all three of these and kind of see how it runs on this bad boy. But before we do that, guys, let's go ahead, let's jump inside the box and let's see what's inside. All right, guys, so we are back here now. So once again, this is the Mega Retron HD by Hyperkin here. I want to give a shout out really quick to Ryan over at Castlemania Games, which you can actually go to to pre-order to go ahead and get one of these. They're available now. They run $45.99, so a budget console for sure. Definitely a great price for this actual unit here. But I want to give a shout out to him. Yes, I did pay for this myself. I want to give a shout out to him for actually getting this thing out in the mail so quickly to me here. Definitely appreciate that. And keep in mind that if you order from Castlemania Games, anything over $20, you do get free shipping as well too. And I'm telling you, he's lickety split at this as well too. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's jump inside the Megatron. <laughs> I said it again, the Mega Retron HD here. This is so easy. This comes out so easy here. So let's go ahead and let's open this bad boy up. So once again, we have the Hyperkin logo on there with a little gold, little thing, or a little gold symbol here, logo. All right, so I do like the packaging. It's kind of neat here. So let's go ahead and take a look. So here we have the actual unit itself. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way a little bit here on the side. So there we go. All right, so let's go ahead. It looks kind of like a, a Sega Genesis to a degree here. So we'll go ahead and we'll open this up and take this little peel off there. So there we go. We have the Mega Retron HD. A little on and off switch here, much like the Sega Model 1. Got a reset button. You got your nine pin ports here, so you can utilize the controller that comes with it, or you can utilize your own uh, Sega Genesis controllers as well too, which I will probably be doing. You have your Hyperkin logo here that lights up blue like they all do. On the back of the unit we have your 
three um, comp our component cables here. Um, if you want to utilize that, you definitely can. It's there. Um, you do have your six by nine, your four by three aspect ratio, a little switch back and forth here. I'll be using mine on four by three for sure, just because that's what I prefer. But you know, it's 16 by nine is there if you need it. You do have your HDMI output, which is great. And you have your micro USB port here for the power. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the bottom here. Um, you do have your NTSC um, J for your Japan. You have your Europe ones as well there too. So that's all available here. So you can actually change those if you need to. So here we go. It does look like a fairly nice console here. It does have some weight for uh, weight to it. And actually, if you take a look at Mad Little Pixel's video, he actually did dissect this thing down. He opened it up and everything as well too. And come to find out, there is some weights in there. Now he thought maybe they put some weights in there just to make the console feel a little bit more, a little more hefty. Um, I think the reason why they do it, now I don't think it's any kind of a scheme or anything. I think the reason why they do it is to keep it from sliding around because that's definitely one of the biggest complaints that people have um, with these units and stuff as well too is that the cheaper ones that they slide around people's um, you know, entertainment centers or wherever they decide to put them, they slide around a lot. So I think that the weight will definitely hold, will definitely help hold this thing into place so that way you don't have it sliding around wherever you decide to put it. So. We'll go ahead and put that off to the side right here. So I do actually like the console as well too. And here's your little cartridge slot here. So it does take Mega Drive and Sega Genesis cartridges in there as well too. Um, let's see what else we got in the box here. So we do have a nice little instruction book as well too. Kind of neat, told you how to do that. But if I can't figure it out, then there's probably something wrong. Um, so we'll go ahead and jump back into here. And it looks like what we have left here is we do have a controller. I'm sure there's some probably hardware, but we'll go ahead and do the controller here next. So. I do have a few Hyperkin controllers as well too. I do have another Sega Genesis one that they have available. This is a six button one here. It really doesn't feel too bad. It actually feels pretty heavy. It feels pretty premium to me, if you ask me actually here. And of course it does have the nine pin um, adapter on there as well too. Like I mentioned, you're gonna have that. I mean, uh, that, I mean, you can use regular Sega Genesis controllers. I'll probably use my Sega six, uh, six button controller as well as I have an original Sega Genesis controller, the three button. And I do have one I got from Castlevania as well too that has Ryu on it um, from RetroBit. So I'll go ahead and probably take a look at that one as well too. But this one doesn't really feel too bad. It's not bad at all. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that off to this side right here. I'll bring that up a little bit further. All right, let's go ahead and see. Um, of course, I think we're gonna have some hardware in the box here. Yeah, we have a nice little hardware box. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So it's probably pretty simple, probably not a whole lot in there, just your typical stuff, which we probably know. Yeah, of course you got HDMI in there, so I'm not gonna open all that right now. I will do that when I actually test the game. We do have composite cables, which is pretty funny too, because I guess there's some people out there who probably wouldn't, wouldn't mind using it. So we do have some composite and your HDMI cable in here as well too. Then of course we have your Okay, so the USB adapter must be in there as well too, somewhere. So yeah, it must be a USB adapter. But we also do have our adapter here, our wall, our wall adapter, which is in there too. So I guess I really don't have to open it, but I'll do it just for, just for the heck of it here. So, all right. So we do have the wall adapter here as well too. So. All right, so that's what we got pretty much inside the box. So like I mentioned, we have the actual unit itself, the Mega Retron HD. We have your cables and everything as well here too, and the premium controller. Now let's go ahead, guys, and let's test out Mortal Kombat 2, Aladdin, and Sonic the Hedgehog 3. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's check out some Mortal Kombat 2 goodness here. One of my favorite games of all time, the Mortal Kombat series, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3, such great games. I remember playing these in the original arcade. So we gotta change the button here to the six button because I'm using the actual controller, the Hypercan controller that came with the console here. And it, I don't know, I wait till I get to the gameplay here. But it does feel a little bit different. I'm so used to using uh, either the Retrobit Ryu one or my regular Sega Genesis or my regular Sega Genesis six button controller. But we'll give it a try here. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's see. All right, okay. So, come on. Okay, so I can't back in. Okay, so I can't do my fan already here, so that's kind of frustrating here. So come on here. What's going on? Yeah, the buttons, the controlling seems kind of stiff with this thing. It's not horrible, but I couldn't even do my fan here, so I couldn't actually propel them up in the air there. Let's go ahead and try it again here. Got the block down there. An uppercut, a little toasty action. Looking at the colors, it does look pretty good here. Doesn't look bad at all. And the game booted. There we go. Finally, 
Boom. Okay, there we go. Now I'm getting down the groove here. Yeah, the, bo the game booted right up too. Didn't have to blow in the cartridge or nothing. But yeah, um, the sound isn't too bad either. It does sound pretty good here. This does look pretty good for a clone console. It does look better than a lot of the ROMs I've seen, including ones like on the, uh, the Super Retrocade as well too and such too. So it does look pretty good though. So let's go ahead and let's try one more match here. Let's take on Reptile. Come on, Reptile. Still remember the first game. You had to unlock him during the pit, and you could actually fight him. It's really cool, man. I remember just playing this game at the arcade, so... I actually prefer the SNES version, although um, on the original game, the SNES version did not have blood, but the Sega Genesis version did. But I like the SNES version of this one and MK3, and Ultimate MK3 as well, too. So let's see if we can bust Fatality here to kind of end this off. So as you can see, go back to what I was talking about, the game does look pretty good. And it runs really smooth as well, too. Haven't noticed any kind of crazy lag or anything. And yes, I am using original cartridges like I showed you guys. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed with the Hypercan. Let's see here. Forward, forward, down, forward. Boom. All right. Gonna suck him or blow him up here, make him fat, and pow! I <laughs> always love that fatality. So, all right, let's go ahead and let's jump into a little bit of Aladdin here. Okay, so the title screen looks pretty good so far. I'm actually gonna say, like I mentioned, I am actually very, very impressed with the sound and the color. The color palette is actually very, very good as well too. So. Again, you, it's a lot of times it's hit and miss with these clone consoles. The last one I've seen that was really good, I've seen reviewed on YouTube anyways, was the Gamers Tech one. So, for $45.99, this is definitely a budget console. It's a budget clone console. Obviously, if you want to get you know a little bit better, of course, you want to spend a little bit more money, then you can shell out the $200 to pre-order the Mega SG by Analog, which is once again FPGA hardware console. But to get the job done, this definitely does do its job. So I'm actually very, very impressed with the way this looks. All right, here we go. And like I mentioned, I've played many ROMs, um, several, several ROMs of this game as well, too. And it does look good. I mean, of course, it's going to look a little better, you know, when I was playing on my Model 2 Genesis through my CRT television. But, I mean, granted, I'm playing this on a 55-inch 4K television, and it looks really good. So... I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt that this does look actually really good for a clone console, so. Alright, let's jump up here. I'm going to play a little bit more of this here just to kind of get you guys a feel of the game. And then I will uh, jump into something else here. If you hear some noise in the background, that's my daughter. She's actually right next to me. And of course, she notices Aladdin. <laughs> notices that Disney character. And this is definitely one of my favorite of all time, man. This along with Lion King are like two of my favorite uh, games on the Genesis and the Super Nintendo and such as far as you know Disney type titles for these two systems All right, let's jump up here. And they actually made this for the Game Gear as well, too, so I Fell down come on But yeah, let me know in the comment section below guys what you guys think of the sound so far and the if you can really hear it uh, I'll do a little bit of a a video here towards the end. I'll actually leave the game. Uh, I'll actually leave the video with Sonic like the Hedgehog for you, so you, know, you guys can hear the sound as well too. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of the color, the palette, the way it looks, graphically, and of course the audio as well too. And let me know if you guys plan on picking this up too. Like I said, it's $45.99. It's available at Castlemania.com. Um, anything over $20, you're gonna get free shipping as well too, and it's quick shipping, guys. Like I said, for $45.99, I recommend this to anybody who's looking for a budget clone console for the Sega Genesis and a Mega Drive. So let's go ahead and let's jump into some Sonic. Alright, so now we've got one of my all-time favorite here, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, of course Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, there's so many different Sonic games, I got a, all of them pretty much, and I'm definitely in love with this game here, it's one of my favorite ones here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of a look at here right now, the game, um, I'll go ahead and talk a little bit, then I'll leave, I'll leave here with a little bit of footage um, with the sound all the way up so you guys can take a look at it and see exactly how it sounds here. So like I said guys, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of it. Once again, this is the Hyperkin uh, Mega Retron HD. $45.99 once again. I know I've repeated it lots of times here, but I'm really, really surprised at the $45.99 because there's so many other ones out there that are Hyperkin branded that actually cost a lot more. So once again, this is available on CastleManiaGames.com. Make sure you guys check it out here. 
give Ryan some love over there as well too. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here guys. Enjoy the rest of the video and let me know what you think here. So once again, this has been Mike with Chit Chat Gaming saying happy gaming. Thank <laughs> you.